This is Erwin's exercise 1127. In a balanced three-phase Y-delta system, the source has an ABC phase sequence and VIN is 120 with 40 degrees. The line and load impedances are respectively 0 0.5 plus J 0 0.4 ohms and 24 plus J 18 ohms find the delta currents in the load. Let's begin by draw our circuit diagram. Y delta. The sources are in a Y and the load is in a delta. Like this. How do I know that the load is RL? Well, observe the impedance of the load is 24 plus J18. So this impedance here is 24 ohms for the resistor and the inductive reactor is 18 ohms and the same for the others and they also give us the value of VIN this is the neutral and this should be A this is A this is 120 with 40 degrees those are volts what else uh, it's an ABC sequence, so this is A, this is B, and this is C, and the sequence is 40 minus 120 uh, degrees and 40 plus 120 degrees for phase C. But now we join them together. The line has an impedance. Here's the small impedance, and we have to draw that too. The impedance of that line is 0 0.5 ohms, plus J 0 0.4 ohms. And you know what I'll do next. I will replace the delta load by an equivalent Y. How? Divide that 2418 by 3. And I get 8 and J6. And that is the same for all the other branches, but we don't care about those. Now we solve the circuit, one circuit, phase A only, only this phase. Because we know that this point is equivalent to this one electrically. They are the same voltage. I solve only phase A. Let's make room for this and redraw that circuit. And we're in business again. We have drawn the phase A of this circuit, and in it, we can compute the line current for phase A, ILA, which is just ILA, is the voltage of phase A, 120 with 40 degrees, divided by the total impedance there, which is 0 0.5, 0 0.4, plus 8.6. We do the computation and we get that line curve. 18.3 amps and 3.02 degrees. That is for phase A. But the question was, what's the current inside the delta in each one of the three phases? Oh, we have to go back to this diagram. Now we know this current, right? This is I line A. And we are to find what is the current, this one. We need some labels. Let's call this A, B, and C. So this current is the current from A to B, and this is the current from C to A. Current from C to A. And here, completely ignored for us, is current B to C. The three currents inside the delta out of symmetry, they have the same magnitude and are out of phase by 120 degrees. We know that. We do know that. We say, okay, let's draw those currents as phasers. We say, well, um, we have uh, this phaser. This is the current from C to A, ICA. And this is the current from B to C. And this other is the current from A to B. And current from A to B. However, in this node, is it clear that the line current is IAB minus ICA? 
meters and well uh, let's use kcl here on no day kcl there if we use kcl there let me write that here kcl a node a i say the line current ila plus the current currents entering right ica that is equal to iab is the only current leaving the node iab and of course i can solve for ila the line current and say that is iab this current this current minus ICA the current here the current there oh you say okay all I have to do to find ILA in this phase diagram phase or diagram is IAB plus the opposite of ICA plus the opposite of this one so okay so the opposite of that one will be something like this this is negative ICA I add them together and I get the line current ILA. This is ILA. But ILA is a value that we know already. Yes, we do. What we need to find is IAB and all the others. What I want out of this diagram is this phase. 30 degrees. This tells me that the phase of AIB, let me write it down, the phase of a i b is the phase of whatever i l a has plus 30 degrees and also i a b is the line current divided by root 3 in size and magnitude right so we can now compute and then from the values we have uh, that the current i a b has a magnitude and that is, what was it? 18.3 divided by 18.3 divided by root 3, right? Divided by root 3. This value divided by root 3 ILA is IAB. And the phase, what's going to be the phase? Well, uh, the phase of ILA is down here, is 302 degrees. So 302 degrees. plus 30 degrees plus 30 degrees and that is uh, that current of course that is 33.02 degrees what about the other phases in the other currents well this one IBC hmm uh, observe uh, that the difference in phase between this one and this one, IBC, is negative 120 degrees. So all we have to do for this one is the same magnitude. But the phase will be whatever it was for this one. Of course, you do the math, right? So 3302 degrees minus 120 degrees. You notice that? This is the phase direction of from IAB and negative 120 degrees we have IBC and what about ICA well I say it has the same magnitude but its phase is plus 120 degrees with respect to IAB plus 120 degrees so I can write this ICA has the same magnitude AT 18.3 divided by root 3 and then I have the magnitude and the phase is 3302 plus 120 degrees and those are the three currents that are the answers to this exercise thank you very much